Hello everybody. I have a new estimand that should make serial mediation estimation a lot easier. So in a model like this where you have a lot of indirect effects going on, you have the effect from topical interest to academic performance being mediated by curiosity, exploration, discovery, and learning. And when you run a bootstrap with indirect effects in Amos, it doesn't assess the indirect effect from topical interest through curiosity to academic performance. It assesses the mediation or indirect effects through all possible indirect effects simultaneously, something I call net indirect effects. So in order to estimate a serial mediation, that is mediation through a string of mediators without any branching paths, we would have to estimate our own estimand, which I'm going to show you down below. You can see on the bottom left it says not estimating any user-defined estimand. Click there and go to select estimands. Now assuming you've already downloaded my estimand called serial mediation, which is in the same place all my other estimands are in that Google Drive folder linked from the stat wiki, select this one, hit open, and the default is to be able to assess three paths but you can edit this estimand to assess as many paths as you want. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five paths from topical interest to academic performance in a serial manner. So if we click on estimating serial mediation, we can edit this estimand, and then we can edit the code. You'll see here in the code, it's actually not that complicated. All we're doing here is summarized in this line right here. We're multiplying some parameter named A by some parameter named B, etc., etc. So we have five parameters. That's A, B, C, D, E. What we want to do is, as this comment says, just move the single quote below to add more parameters. So here's the single quote right here. I remove it, and it enables all of these, and I'm going to just replace it after the E. And now everything after this E is commented out. It won't run, but we will be able to multiply these five parameters together. And then we'll return whatever that value is. Once you do that, hit save. Close this. Make sure that bootstrapping is enabled in the Analysis Properties Bootstrap tab. Perform a bootstrap, otherwise the estimand won't run. Close this. Name the paths next. So we're going to name this one, the regression weight for this one, capital A. It's important that you get the casing correct. It must be capital because that's what we told it to look for in our estimand. So A, B, C, D, and E. It will now multiply all these together to get a serial indirect effect. Let's run that. And if we go to our output, you'll see if you go to the estimands area, scalars, there's a new section called user defined estimands. Click on that and then down below click on bootstrap confidence. And this will show you the unstandardized serial indirect effect and its p-value as well as its upper and lower bounds. So this serial indirect effect is significant at the p is less than 0 0.01 or maybe even 0 0.001. We can find out if we just increase the decimals here. Yep, it is less than 0 0.001. So we do have a significant mediation through this serial path while ignoring all other indirect paths. And that's how you do it. Not that complicated.